You are driving on a city street and see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights behind you. What should you do? A. Drive to the right edge of the road and slow down. B. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop. C. Stay in your lane, slow down, and let it pass. B. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop. You must yield the right of way to any emergency vehicle that is using its siren and lights. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed. If you are within an intersection, drive through the intersection first and then stop. This sign means A. No passing zone. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. Two way traffic. A. No passing zone. A triangular yellow sign with black lettering indicates a no passing zone. It will appear on the left side of a two way, two lane roadway at the beginning of an area where prohibitive pavement markings are also used. If you parallel park facing downward on a hill, A. Turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. B. Turn your wheels away from the side of the road. C. Keep your wheels straight. A. Turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. When parking downhill, turn your front wheels toward the curb or edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road without a curb, Turn your wheels toward the edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road with a curb, you must turn your front wheels away from the curb. When stopping on snow or ice, drivers who are operating vehicles equipped with an anti-lock braking system ABS, should A. Pump the brakes. B. Press and hold the brake pedal firmly. C. Stay off the brakes and wait for the car to drift to a stop. B. Press and hold the brake pedal firmly. When driving a vehicle equipped with an anti-lock braking system, ABS, a driver should press the brake pedal firmly when stopping on a snowy or icy surface. The ABS will pump the brakes more rapidly than a driver would be able to. Want to ace you DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. An orange and red triangular sign on a vehicle always means A. The vehicle has the right of way. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. Shoulder work ahead. B. Slow moving vehicle. Slow moving vehicles, such as farm tractors, road maintenance vehicles, and animal drawn carts, display an orange and red triangle on the back. This sign means A. Slippery when wet. B. Stop sign ahead. C. No U turn. A. Slippery when wet. All roads are slippery and dangerous when wet. This sign warns of conditions that can cause a driver to lose control of a car. A driver should slow down when coming upon wet pavement because it takes longer to stop. When driving in weather that decreases visibility to less than 100 feet, you should A. Increase your speed. B. Pull off the road and wait until the weather clears. C. Drive normally. B. Pull off the road and wait until the weather clears. In very heavy rain, heavy snow, or thick fog, you may not be able to see more than 100 feet ahead of your vehicle. If visibility is this limited, you cannot drive safely at any speed. Whenever you cannot see well enough to safely drive, Pull off the road.
It is legal to make a left turn at a red traffic light after stopping only if a. You are traveling on a two-way street and turning onto a two-way street. b. You are traveling on a one-way street and turning onto another one-way street. c. You yield to all other traffic at the intersection. b. You are traveling on a one-way street and turning onto another one-way street. After coming to a complete stop, you may turn left at a red light only if you are traveling on a one-way street and turning onto another one-way street. Only make the turn if there are no posted signs prohibiting such a turn. Stopping distances and the severity of collisions. A. Decrease as a vehicle's speed increases. B are not affected by a vehicle's speed. C. Increase as a vehicle's speed increases. C. Increase as a vehicle's speed increases. Excessive vehicle speed can have disastrous effects. As a vehicle's speed increases, the potential impact of a collision also increases, elevating the possibility of serious injury and death. Increase your following distance as your speed increases to ensure that you will be able to stop safely if needed. Before stopping your vehicle at a traffic signal or sign, you should A. Press down hard on the accelerator. B. Check your mirrors for surrounding traffic. C. Set the parking brake. B. Check your mirrors for surrounding traffic. When stopping your vehicle on the roadway, first check your mirrors for traffic. Be aware of surrounding drivers as you release the accelerator and allow your vehicle to slow. Move your foot to the brake pedal and press with steady pressure for a smooth stop. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a minimum blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of A. 0.05% B. 0.08% C. 0.02% B. 0.08% For drivers age 21 or older. It is illegal to operate a motor vehicle with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of 0.08% or higher. Driving while under the influence of alcohol is not only illegal, but dangerous. Which of the following statements is correct? A. Use your left foot to brake. B. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating your vehicle. C. You should always brake abruptly to ensure stopping. B. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating your vehicle. Use your right foot for both braking and accelerating. You should apply the brakes gently with increasing pressure so that your vehicle stops gradually and smoothly. You must obey instructions from school crossing guards. A. At all times. B. Only during school hours. C. Unless you do not see any children present. A. At all times. Drivers should be alert to the presence of crossing guards when near a school and must always obey their instructions. If your car's suspension is bad, it can cause a. Vehicle control problems b. Squealing brakes c. Slack in the steering a. Vehicle control problems Your suspension helps you control your vehicle and provides a comfortable ride over varying road surfaces. If your vehicle bounces a lot after driving over a bump, or is generally hard to control, you may need new suspension parts.
any amount of alcohol in the blood may affect a driver's a. Right-of-way privileges. b. Judgment and physical coordination. c. Knowledge. b. Judgment and physical coordination. A driver's ability to safely operate a vehicle may be impaired at any BAC level, even a level lower than the legal limit. Any amount of alcohol can affect one's judgment and physical coordination. Driving under the influence of even a small amount of alcohol can lead to criminal charges. Before you change lanes, you should check your mirrors in. A. Never look over your right shoulder. B. Always slow down in your traffic lane. C. Glance over your shoulder. C. Glance over your shoulder. Before changing lanes, it is very important to check behind you. You should look over your shoulder to ensure that you are not getting in the way of vehicles in the lane you want to enter. Before changing lanes, you should also ensure that no drivers are attempting to drive into the same spot from a different lane. If a road is slippery, maintain a following distance that is a. No different than normal. b. Farther from the car ahead than normal. c. Closer to the car ahead than normal. b. Farther from the car ahead than normal. You need a longer distance to stop your vehicle on a slippery road than you do on a dry road. Maintain an increased following distance when driving on slippery roads. This road sign means a. Sharp turn to the right ahead. b. Upcoming sharp left and right turns. c. Winding road ahead. c. Winding road ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns the driver that there is an upcoming winding road. Speed should be adjusted appropriately. You reach an intersection with stop signs on all four corners at the same time as the driver on your left. Who has the right of way? A. The driver on your left has the right of way. B. You have the right of way. C. Whoever is signaling to make a turn has the right of way. B. You have the right of way. If two vehicles arrive at the same time to an intersection that has stop signs on all corners, the vehicle to the right has the right of way. If there is no crosswalk and you see a pedestrian crossing your lane, you should a. Make sure the pedestrian can see you before proceeding. b. Cautiously drive around the pedestrian. c. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing. C. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing. Drivers must always yield the right of way to pedestrians in the roadway, even if there is not a marked crosswalk. If you become drowsy while driving, you should A. Try to fight it. B. Take a break. C. Take some caffeine pills. B. Take a break. If you start to feel tired while driving, drive to the first available rest stop or service area to take a break, nap, stretch, or change drivers. You should not rely on caffeine pills or energy drinks, as these are not a replacement for rest and may make your driving even more dangerous. When should drivers yield the right of way to pedestrians in a crosswalk? A. Only if the pedestrians first wave to the driver. B. Only if the pedestrians are not texting while walking. C. At all times. C. At all times.
Bring your vehicle to a complete stop at a crosswalk to yield the right of way to any vehicle or pedestrian already in the intersection. You may carefully proceed if your lane is completely clear. The speed limit in school zones is a 20 miles per hour, b 30 miles per hour, c 45 miles per hour. A. 20 miles per hour. Unless otherwise posted, drivers in school zones may not drive faster than 20 miles per hour. Always use caution when driving near children. Before returning to your original lane after passing another vehicle, you should A. Beep your horn. B. See both headlights of the past vehicle in your rear view mirror. C. Flash your headlights. B. See both headlights of the past vehicle in your rear view mirror. When passing is permitted, look for both headlights of the past vehicle in your rear view mirror. Only then may you safely return to your original lane. A sign with this shape means A. No passing zone. B. Right turn permitted on red. C. Yield right of way. A. No passing zone. A pennant shaped sign marks the beginning of a no passing zone. This sign means A. Pedestrian crossing. B. Side road. C. Railroad ahead. A. Pedestrian crossing. This sign indicates that there is a pedestrian crosswalk. In which of the following scenarios should your wheels not be pointed straight ahead? A. When waiting to make a left turn at a traffic light. B. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway. C. When parked on the side of a level roadway where there is no curb. B. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway. While waiting to turn left, keep your wheels pointed straight ahead until it is safe to start your turn. If a vehicle hits you from behind, this will prevent you from veering into oncoming traffic. When parked facing either uphill or downhill, turn the wheels so the vehicle will not roll into traffic if the brakes fail. At a railroad crossing, you must A. Watch for vehicles that must stop at all railroad crossings, school buses, trucks carrying hazardous materials, etc. B. Watch for multiple trains. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. You must approach all railroad crossings with extreme caution and cross only when you know that no train is coming from either direction. Be aware of vehicles that must stop at all railroad crossings, such as school buses and trucks carrying hazardous materials. Which of the following are factors commonly contributing to traffic crashes? A. Exceeding the posted speed limit and driving too fast for conditions or circumstances. B. Getting adequate rest and staying alert. C. Scanning the environment and staying focused on the driving task. A. Exceeding the posted speed limit and driving too fast for conditions or circumstances. Driving above the speed limit, driving too far below the speed limit, and driving too fast for conditions are all actions that commonly contribute to traffic accidents. Always drive with the general flow of traffic, within legal speed limits. This road sign means A. All traffic must turn right. B. All traffic must go straight. C. A side road intersects ahead.
C. A side road intersects ahead. Warning signs provide notice to road users of a situation that might not be readily apparent and are usually yellow with black markings. This warning sign tells drivers to be alert to an intersecting side road ahead. Excessive speed. A. Saves time so you can get to your destination more quickly. B. Helps you maneuver around obstacles. C. Increases the likelihood of serious bodily injury and death. C. Increases the likelihood of serious bodily injury and death. Excessive speed is one of the most common contributing factors to vehicle crashes. Excessive speed does not save time and often leads to high-risk decision-making. At an intersection with stop signs on all corners, yield the right of way to any driver. A. On your left. B. Who arrived before you. C. Across from your vehicle. B. Who arrived before you. After coming to a full stop, vehicles should proceed through a four-way stop in the order in which they arrive to the intersection. If multiple vehicles arrive at the same time, the vehicle on the left must yield the right of way to the vehicle on the right. Fatigue increases the risk of A. Missing an exit B. Being late for an appointment C. Falling asleep behind the wheel and crashing C. Falling asleep behind the wheel and crashing Fatigue causes errors related to speed and distance, increases your risk of being in a crash, and causes you to take more time to make decisions. When you are fatigued, you could fall asleep behind the wheel and crash, injuring or killing yourself or others. No zones, are areas around trucks where cars. A. Disappear into blind spots or are so close that they restrict the truck driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. B. Have sufficient space to travel behind the truck. C. Have several car lengths between their vehicle and the truck. A. Disappear into blind spots or are so close that they restrict the truck driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. No zones, are areas around trucks or buses in which cars disappear into the larger vehicle's blind spots. No zones, can also be defined as areas in which cars are so close to the larger vehicle that they restrict the truck or bus driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. A car being in a, no zone, greatly increases the potential for a crash. Which of the following is not a safe driving practice when driving on the interstate? A. Slower traffic must keep to the right. B. Change lanes without signaling. C. If you miss your exit, you must go to the next exit. B. Change lanes without signaling. You should always signal when moving your vehicle to the right or left. On an interstate. You should stay in the right lane if you are moving more slowly than the surrounding traffic. It is illegal to back up or make a U-turn on interstate highways, so if you miss your exit, you should proceed to the next exit. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in business areas is A. 20 miles per hour B. 30 miles per hour C. 45 miles per hour. B. 30 miles per hour. The statewide speed limit in business areas is 30 miles per hour. If a different speed limit is posted, you should follow the posted limit. In rainy weather, you should be most careful when turning or stopping. A. After it has been raining all day. B. 
one half hour after it stops raining. C. During the first half hour of rain. C. During the first half hour of rain. You should be extra careful when turning and stopping during the first half hour of rain. At this point, the oil from cars has not yet washed off the pavement and could be forming a slippery mixture with the rain. If your car begins to skid out of control, you should A. Pump the brakes. B. Apply the brakes lightly. C. Stay off the brakes. C. Stay off the brakes. If your vehicle begins to skid, stay off the brakes. Continue to correct your steering until the vehicle is back under your control and moving safely down the road. You should not start across an intersection if you know you will block the intersection when the light turns red. A. Under any circumstances. B. Unless you entered the intersection on a yellow light. C. Unless you entered the intersection on a green light. A. Under any circumstances. Even if the signal is green, you must not enter an intersection unless you can get completely across before the light turns red. If you block the intersection, you can be sighted. This is the shape and color of a fill in the blank sign. A. Stop. B. Wrong way. C. Yield. C. Yield. Downward facing triangular signs mean drivers must yield. When approaching a yield sign, slow down to a speed that is reasonable for existing conditions and stop if necessary. If you must stop, do so at a marked stop line, if it exists. When you see a flashing yellow light at an intersection, you should A. Yield to all traffic before crossing the intersection. B. Stop, then enter the intersection when it is safe to do so. C. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. C. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. A flashing yellow light at an intersection indicates that drivers should slow to a safe and reasonable speed and proceed with caution. Which of the following is most likely to be slippery in cold weather after snow or rain? A. A hilly, open road. B. A residential road. C. A road in a shaded area. C. A road in a shaded area. On cold, wet days, shaded spots on a roadway can become icy. Shaded areas often freeze before, and thaw out after, the rest of a road. This sign means a. Slow moving vehicle. B. Road construction maintenance area. C. Traffic signal ahead. A. Slow moving vehicle. This sign is displayed on slow moving vehicles. Which medications can affect a driver's ability to operate a vehicle? A. Only sleeping pills. B. Any medication. C. Only illegal drugs. B. Any medication. When taking a new medication, do not drive until you are certain that it will not impair your driving. You may not drive under the influence of any controlled drug. It is dangerous to do so and you could be charged and convicted of driving while under the influence, DWUI. A broken yellow line down the center of a road indicates that A. A construction zone is ahead. B. 
Passing is not permitted from either direction. C. Passing is permitted from either direction. C. Passing is permitted from either direction. When broken yellow lines separate the lanes of traffic on a two-lane roadway, any driver may pass when there is no oncoming traffic. Hydroplaning occurs when tires ride on a thin film of water instead of on the surface of the road. To prevent hydroplaning in rainy weather, you should a. Put on your cruise control to maintain a constant speed. b. Decrease your speed. c. Move to the shoulder of the road as soon as it starts to rain. b. Decrease your speed. In rainy weather, you should lower your speed to reduce the risk of hydroplaning. Driving too fast may cause your tires to ride up on the water and lose contact with the surface of the road, making it very difficult to control your vehicle. As you approach the top of a hill, you should a. Speed up slightly. b. Prepare to stop, if needed. c. Maintain a steady speed. b. Prepare to stop, if needed. You may not know what is on the other side of a hill or just around a curve, even if you have driven the road many times. If a vehicle is stalled just out of sight on the roadway, you must be able to stop. Whenever you come to a hill or curve, adjust your speed so you can stop if necessary. This sign means a. Upcoming downgrade or hill. b. Road construction area. c. Upcoming narrowing of roadway. a. Upcoming downgrade or hill. This sign warns of a dangerous downgrade or hill ahead. The hill may be very long or steep, or it may have sharp curves. If it feels like your tires have lost contact with the surface of the road, you should a. Slow down by shifting into a lower gear. b. Ease your foot off the gas pedal. c. Slow down by pumping the brakes quickly and firmly. b. Ease your foot off the gas pedal. If it feels like your tires have lost contact with the surface of the road, you should ease your foot off the gas pedal and stay off the brakes. Do not try to stop or turn until your tires are gripping the road again. When driving under snowy or icy conditions. A. It is safe to use your cruise control. B. Make speed and directional changes more gradually than you would otherwise. C. Drive as you would under normal conditions. B. Make speed and directional changes more gradually than you would otherwise. When driving under snowy or icy conditions, you should make speed and directional changes gradually. Never use cruise control when driving on snow or ice because your tires may lose contact with the road and you will lose control of your vehicle. 